despite the fact that the amount of trolling that Jigglypuff has done in the original Pokemon series is rivaled only by modern day Twitch chat. Her outward appearance looks like a soft ball of fluff, not really fit for an action fighter. She's less than 2 feet tall and weighs only 12 pounds, and her Japanese name, Purin, even comes from the Japanese word for custard or pudding. But when the original Smash Bros for Nintendo 64 came out, her overwhelming popularity nonetheless landed her a spot on the roster, and surprisingly, she kicks butt. Many people who are fans of the Smash Bros series but are unfamiliar with the competitive scene often believe that Jigglypuff's a weaker version of Kirby, but she actually boasts attacks that the other pink puffball only wishes he could use. Her most poignant characteristics include her back air, her crouch, and rest attack. Her back air is almost unreasonably powerful. It can actually beat many weaker characters all by itself. It has an insane disjointed hitbox, and, combined with her supreme aerial mobility, is probably the best air attack in the game. With it, Jigglypuff is able to drift in and out of her opponent's effective ranges while also threatening her own long-range attack that beats out almost all others if spaced correctly. Even so, many puffs still stay low to the ground and make use of her crouch, which is not only an extremely small target to hit, but can duck under grabs, oftentimes the most dangerous combo starter for many of the best characters in the game. And, of course, her signature rest, a move that initially looks as useless as Roy's dash attack, ends up being the most powerful move in the game. Without it, Jigglypuff would struggle against most of the top tier characters, but with it, she's capable of making comebacks and putting fear in her opponents all in the blink of an eye. Defensively, Jigglypuff can be an absolute nightmare to catch. A daunting wall of aerials, combined with the air mobility that no other character can match, is only the beginning, as once you finally get past it, you'll have to be as accurate as Skywalker to hit her tiny frame without succumbing to crowd cancel tactics or falling into any rest traps. Considering how elusive she is and how frustrating her back air walls can be, many of the faster characters opt to camp, or play a runaway style to force Jigglypuff to approach first in hopes that she will overextend and leave herself open. In this case, it's often up to the Puff player to be able to safely move forward and corner her opponents. With their limited options, her opponents will get locked down, and a panic roll or double jump becomes a lot easier to catch. Her edgeguarding guarding game is incredibly powerful, and since her recovery is so amazing, she can take extra liberties to fly way out there and hit opponents before they even have a chance to reach the stage. It's tougher than it looks, but once mastered, it's an absolute nightmare trying to recover against a solid Jigglypuff main. She's also the least pressured of all characters off of the stage or near the ledge and can be comfortable fighting where other characters are not. Many people will say Puff is a glass cannon, and for the most part they're right, as most common KO moves kill her at way lower percents than other characters. But at the same time, her floatiness can help her as well. A lot of the moves and combos that work on other characters, especially fast fallers, simply just don't connect against her, and competitive players have to either make a huge prediction to do extra damage, or be content with just taking stage control instead. Jigglypuff is currently a high tier character, but not quite an elite character, although there are few people, especially in the wake of Hungrybox's recent success, who believe that Jigglypuff could actually be as high as second best. However, in general, many top players' opinions are extremely varied, as there probably aren't enough people proficient in all of her matchups to really know for sure. For the most part, she has a tough time with Fox and Falco, wins against Peach and Samus, and then has some strange matchups, such as Young Link and Dr. Mario, who probably aren't truly favored, but can completely dominate any puffs that aren't familiar with those matchups, and very few people are. Characters like Sheik, Ice Climbers, Pikachu, and Falcon are close, but Jigglypuff likely still has an edge against them. And of course, the rest of the cast has to work extremely hard to beat her. However, even when Mango was the best in the world, he did drop two sets to Kage, so nothing is impossible. Puff has a few strong moves, including her forward smash and even the rarely used rollout, but in general she doesn't have a ton of raw KO power. She relies mostly on edge guarding and wall of pains to finish off opponents, unless she uses rest of course, which brings her power score up all by itself. While she has great aerial mobility, she's clearly slower than most of the other top tiers, which makes her vulnerable to some runaway projectile styles. Jigglypuff has deceptively long hitboxes that reach way further than they look. 
She definitely has the best recovery in the entire game, with multiple jumps that can be controlled the entire time. She can recover horizontally, vertically, and even stall in the air for an indeterminate amount of time. Jigglypuff is criminally light, and thus dies extremely early. It isn't easy for Jigglypuff to rush down opponents or smother them with fast attacks like some other characters. Instead, she patiently abuses her range and aerial drift to get in on her opponents and lock them down. Her unique air game is what allows her to find openings where other characters cannot. Jigglypuff's outer shield game may not be fantastic, but if she ever feels like being safe, she can pretty much keep every other character from being able to reach her by spacing far away and drifting backwards. She's able to put out defensive hitboxes at a very fast rate to avoid getting hit. Because she's so floaty, she can also escape combos sooner than other characters. Jigglypuff is your main if you love having a strong air game rather than staying grounded. You want to edge guard and combo others while avoiding those same struggles yourself. The contrast between safe aerial approaches and a one-hit KO move that guarantees death if failed is appealing to you. You don't mind patiently cornering and chasing down opponents who try to play a runaway style. Or if you want to catch them all. Or just troll everybody. Hey everyone, this is Kellen and I do all the video related stuff at SSBM Tutorials. I'm here to announce that we just started a vlog where Kira, CDK, and I document behind the scenes and other things we do in our daily lives. If you're interested in that sort of thing, click here to go to our vlogs channel, SSBMT Vlogs.